ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today there's a brand new glove in the game of Slap Battles called the Dive Bomb Glove. It has 55 power, 17 speed, and the ability is to propulsion. That sounds pretty cool, you know? <laughs> it requires the Null Piercer Badge, and you might be asking, how do you get that Null Piercer Badge? What you're gonna do is you're gonna head down to the secret tunnel at the beginning of spawn. If you don't know where that's at, I got you. Just follow where I am going now. It's right near the No One Shots portal. Just go right into this little cubby right here, and you can go into this little pocket zone that has a Bounty Hunter. After opening up the chat with the Bounty Hunter, we can see that there's a brand new quest for us to obtain called Into the Unknown. You ever notice those weird portals showing up from time to time in the arena? Most people turn tail and run the other way, but I've heard some stories of some people shooting themselves straight into those things. Some of them being able to fly afterwards. Now that's got me thinking, how exactly is that possible? Well, since you're here, why don't you go find out for me, partner? Who knows? You might be able to take to the skies too. That's pretty interesting. We can see that we need five cursed blast energy. Make sure you hit the accept quest button because if you don't, then you're going to be doing this entire quest without getting any progress. <laughs> so for this to work, you're going to need a Rob and a Bob user in your server and they're going to need to combine to make a null zone portal. You're going to then need to have yourself on Cannon Island in a cannon and shoot yourself all the way over into that portal five times. So it's just going to be one of those things that it's easy, but it's going to take a lot of time to do. If you're needing help with the timing on this, wait for them to combine and then count to five Mississippi. So one Mississippi. 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, SHOOT! And then you should get it just like that. That, or you could follow the on-screen counter because I was not exactly in rhythm with the Mississippis. <laughs> By the way, the portal doesn't require any specific gloves, so you don't need to be using default. You could use grapple, you could use cloud, you could use whatever you might need to to get to this island, to get to the cannon, to get to that portal. But once you do end up getting your fifth, it's not going to tell you that you've gotten five out of five. You just kind of have to have it in your memory. But head on down to the same cellar where the bounty man is, and then go and collect your reward. You won't be able to get the glove until you actually hit that collect reward button down there, which gives you the badge, which in turn lets you use this brand new glove. So let's go ahead and let's test out this brand new dive bomb glove. All right, so, oh, look at that. Oh, it works like Psycho, but it looks like you're Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> so this glove basically has two abilities that you can do. You can double jump and hold it so that you can fly around like this. It's the same thing as Psycho. And then you actually have the ability itself. If we were to go over here and we hit the E button, oh, we jump up in the air. We have an animation. Oh, I'm surprised you don't get hit by the kill barrier up there. And then when we drop on the ground, let's see what happens here. Boom! Okay, all right, so the AOE doesn't go as far as the particles. <laughs> but that's still a cool effect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see what actually happens if you get hit. Okay, so you do take a considerable amount of knockback. Not bad at all. Alright, now let's do a quick test to see how far you can actually go with this. I'm gonna try to head towards the other side of the island, the island to our right vision. Okay, uh, not too, too fast, but you can go a good distance. We went from where they're at now to right here, so not bad on distance-wise if you're just fighting in the arena. One other quick change in this update was the killer fish was nerfed so that it cannot be used in the tournament anymore, which is good. This needed to happen. You would win every single time. And that does it for this update. I do like this glove. I think this is a pretty cool little addition. I know it's not super overpowered, so people might not like it at the start, but it has good abilities. But other than that, I want to say happy Easter to everybody that does celebrate Easter. I hope you have a very good one. And from everybody here, we all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we shall see you in the counters. Later!